Welcome to Seven Days of Silence. Starting off the news this week, the US New Zealand company Rocket Lab have successfully caught an orbital booster with a helicopter. Well, caught it and then dropped it. SpaceX is currently the only company to reuse orbital rocket boosters on a routine basis, so seeing a new and very creative approach to the problem of rocket reusability is fantastic. Rocket Lab's booster was carrying 34 satellites to orbit before it began its journey back to Earth where its heat shielding hopefully protected it from any damage and it was slowed down by a parachute. The helicopter then hooked onto this parachute, but after the pilots felt it was too unstable, to be on the safe side they jettisoned it for a splashdown in the ocean. Rocket Lab boss Peter Beck lauded the event as a success nonetheless, saying that 99% of what they wanted to achieve was achieved. In the paleontology news for this week is the very exciting announcement of some incredibly huge ichthyosaur material discovered in latest Triassic rocks of Switzerland. This material includes a huge tooth as well as two partial but associated skeletons. Interestingly, these are now the youngest records of giant ichthyosaurs in the Triassic period, showing that exceptional body size in these animals persisted to the end of the period. The study finds that the younger of the two specimens may have reached a comparable size to the 21 metre long Shastasaurus, while the slightly older and smaller skeleton could have got to a similar size as Shonisaurus, at perhaps 15 metres long. The discovery of the giant tooth also shows that these massive Triassic ichthyosaurs were not at all toothless, with some clearly retaining their dentition. Also in the news this week is the interesting description of a new genus and species of saber-toothed cat named Tawu Liui. This new cat was discovered in Pleistocene-aged rocks from North China, and amazingly seems to have been a dwarf ecomorph. The material from Tawu is an almost complete cranium. The paper naming this species also carries out a detailed analysis of the evolutionary relationships of these animals, discovering that this smaller form is the sister species to the homotherines. Essentially, there's a very nice new phylogeny of saber-toothed cats, as well as a detailed reconstruction of the paleobiogeographic history of the group. Well, that's it for... Uh, mm. of the paleo bile whoa that's a lot of word